Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Kremerskoli and I'm a mind, body and soul practitioner. And today on the online prosperity show, we will be talking about how you can live a vibrant life. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you the mind, body, and soul practitioner herself, Melissa. Melissa, how are you doing, my love? I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much for having me. This is an absolute pleasure. Fantastic. I mean, obviously, if you're watching this show right now, um, you would understand that we're always bringing to you experts in their own realm. And today, Melissa basically has one one message she helps people to shift their negative energy and limiting beliefs and thoughts from their mind body and soul and she actually believes that all these three are connected and we actually need to work with each of these areas in order to live in a place of freedom flow and a happier existence now if you're an entrepreneur you would understand that your mindset can bring about all the wild success and it can also tear down your business as well or if you're a mom or a sister or a brother you would understand that the way you show up in the world determines how people are re receptive to you and the well-being that you bring to those that are around you now obviously i could go on and on melissa and talk about um all these things that i think you do why don't we hear it from you especially Tell us a little bit about your story and how you became the mind, body, and soul practitioner. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Um, well, my journey really started, you know, just over 12 months ago. So it's quite a new, fresh journey for me uh, in terms of the entrepreneurial journey. Um, but back over just over 12 months ago, um, I had found myself prior to that point just feeling like I was becoming very stuck in terms of where I wanted to go, who I, who I was, who I was showing up as I was really, really unhappy in a career that I'd been in for over 20 years and I couldn't understand why and what was going on for me and why I was no, no longer enjoying something that I'd loved for such a long time. And at that time I didn't realize that I was really spiraling into a place of really deep and severe depression. And, jumping from job to job trying to i guess find some other way of getting back what i thought that i needed it wasn't really it wasn't really happening for me so after i was fired twice in a matter of a couple of years um i realized that you know this was this was a huge sign for me to make changes in my life in my world and i needed to be i, I needed to look at what what was going on for me and really take a close look internally inside of myself, which I hadn't done before. Um, and basically with that depression, that anxiety uh, that I was experiencing, um, I ended up losing my marriage as well. My marriage fell apart from all of that, all in the mix. It sort of all really happened all at once when I hit my rock bottom. And so from there, I, I just decided that, you know, this is it. It's, you know, when, when you hit that rock bottom, it's like the only way is up. So I had to find what that was for me and, you know, and that's when I discovered um, NLP and timeline therapy work and went through that whole transformational process of letting go of my own limiting beliefs, shifting my own negative energy and just basically having a, a chance to, to let go of, of so much that I've been carrying for such a long time. Absolutely. So, Thank you so much for enlightening us with your story right there. Now, Melissa, I mean, obviously you have hit rock bottom and you understand what it actually um, feels like. Do you find yourself blaming yourself for the things that would have happened in your life? Or do you think it's healthy to blame yourself as a person um, when you find yourself in a position like that? Or should you seek um, assistance um you know in order to to elevate yourself and get yourself out of a slump yeah sure well firstly we should never ever blame ourselves for anything that happens in this world and ever and if you are finding yourself doing that and you are in that place where you're not truly happy and living from a joyful place and you are blaming yourself for the things that are occurring in your world then that's when i would say yes absolutely reach out to somebody because there is so much more 
to us than we actually really realise. And when we can actually reach out to somebody, that could be anybody, you know, that can help you with what you've got going on and you allow that person to support you to let go of everything that is causing you all of these problems, then your life will transform. It just does. When you show up for you and you actually put in the, the work to let go of everything that's in your way, then life starts to show up for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Melissa, um, I was telling you probably early on before we started that my wife, um, you know, is Italian and we've got a three-year-old um, little girl that we absolutely love, but she takes up a lot of our time, you know, and I find that my wife gives more of herself uh, towards the upkeep of our little girl. Now, as a parent or as a mom, you know, you might not have time to, you know, look after your yourself and um, have to make sure that you're there for your family. What would you say uh, to women that find themselves or parents that find themselves in that predicament? Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Having to look after everyone instead of uh, themselves yeah. first. Okay, sure. Well, for me, this is really probably just something that's coming from my own experiences to, to, to those that are still in in um, beautiful marriages, like, you know, this is, this is just gorgeous and I'm really, really, you know, um, you know, I'm happy for you. And if you are in that tight knit um, environment where you are married and you have children, then the only thing that I can say to you is that work as a team, you have to work together as a team. And especially if you've got the two uh, parents and they're both working, you know, full-time jobs or they're both working and they're, they're then coming together and then having to, um, you know, obviously balance everything so that the whole family can come together, then you, you must work as a team. And, it, you know, if you don't, then that's where I find there can be some unbalancing. But in saying that, it's really about, you know, finding out as an individual parent what it is that, you know, really fills up your cup. So just one or two things that if even you got half an hour of being able to do that would make you feel like you've had you time something for you that really fills your soul and makes you feel joy and happiness. You need to be doing that all the time, at least once, once a week, having that time for you. And you also need to be coming together as, as a husband and wife, as a couple, and at actually making sure that you spend time connecting with each other as well. And, and when you're doing that, everything else in terms of the parenting and all the stresses that you, that you may feel, they just lessen because you're, you're filling up your cup. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, you would understand, and thank you so much for bringing that, uh, you know, togetherness and working together as a team, because apparently they say a family that eats together grows together, right? And if you're doing things together, um, you know, beautiful things happen. So that should be great. So, okay. So let's say maybe the family has gone on to start doing things together. Um, they're working in, 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 in unison. And then we then find that our environment might just be uh, suffocating the growth. Maybe it's the media, maybe it's, um, you know, parents or maybe any expectations from people for us to be perfect. Do you think that is something that stops people from actually expressing themselves or to be vibrant people um, like you would like them to be um, as a person? Yeah, sure. I think it can have an effect. Um, you know, certainly with, um, you know, so much social media out there, you know, a lot of it is showing us only snapshots of some of the most beautiful uh, moments in our lives, but they're not actually showing us our reality. So, um, you know, for me, if we can just really just start to just show up as who we truly are, you know, flaws and all, you know, I think this is where we can really start to come back um, and connect as a, as a species again, as, a, as humans, um, because we all know that there's no such thing as perfection, yet there's so many people striving for it. And if I can give one, I suppose, message around that is just, just remember that when you're seeing such what we call perfection um, in images and, and things and that on social media, that that's not a, a real reality. You know, there's... There, there's so much more to what you see on, on, on social media. And, you know, and I, I, you know, I know that people like, as an entrepreneur, people like to see 
the best of you. And so, you know, yes, like, um, try, you're putting yourself out there and you know you want to get the best shot the best angle of what you look like and whatever else because you know that might be more attractive to people but the the reality is I, I believe you just need to have a real mixture of that so people can see the truth of who you are and you know I've done live videos in my pajamas because I've had something that I just needed to share it was like burning inside me and so I just jumped in on, in my pajamas and just you know hair was a little bit scruffy no makeup on and I just shared you know so sometimes we've got to we've got to remember that we're human beings and that there's we're not perfect not just in the way that we look but in the way that we the way that we behave you know like oh my goodness you know sometimes i'm like you know flipping out at my daughter one minute and then the next you know we're coming together and we're having beautiful connections you know there's no such thing as a, as a perfectly you know um, unflawed human being <laughs> absolutely i mean obviously if you're watching this show right now you'd understand the last selfie that you took you probably had 10 that got deleted so why would you go in and like somebody's instagram shot as if that was the the the, the perfect um, image of what just happened there so people tend to forget that okay so now you've brought in something that's pretty uh, crucial because um the one thing that actually stops people dead in their tracks is um, you know, that, that, that fear of loss and in businesses, you know, only 20% of businesses, according to statistics, survive past their uh, first, um, you know, five year of operation, you know, and, um, that is basically caused because a lot of people are trying to be who they're not. How important is authenticity when it comes to body mind and soul um, and actually bringing out you know the, the, the vibrancy in a, in a human being yeah look authenticity to me is is really crucial because at the end of the day I believe that people can can see through that you know eventually anyway if you know um, and I think if you're not operating for from a place of authenticity within yourself, you're actually probably going to be still suffering inside. Because when we start to actually truly show up as who we who we are, who we're meant to be, and we we let go of all of those masks of trying to be somebody else because we think that's what other people want, it's what you want that you've got to remember. And when you can show up from a place of what you want and who you want to be then everything in your life starts to starts to flow everything it's it's incredible because when we're in alignment there's less suffering so alignment with our truth so when we're in alignment with who we truly are there's less suffering because we're not trying to to understand why we're fighting with ourselves because we're in full alignment so consciously we want this in our lives unconsciously sometimes we can want different things but when we can come to that authenticity within us and in that place where we're operating from who we truly are then they're both in line with and so there's there tends to be that less suffering absolutely as within so it shall be uh on the outside now melissa obviously um what we're talking about here might just be fairly new to a lot of people because if they knew what it was they would understand and maybe implement and do um the things now how important is clarity as in knowing exactly what you're supposed to be doing that would then bring in that alignment that would then bring in that gratitude and um everything else that uh goes along um with having a vibrant uh life or a life full of joy like you you yeah. you yeah. elaborate to people cool. yeah clarity clarity is is, is very crucial and sometimes on the entrepreneurial journey and i you know i've experienced this myself is that when we don't have clarity we we feeling like we're struggling again that's another sign we're not in flow we're not in that alignment because um when you've got clarity around what it is that you want to do what message you want to send then again you don't have that resistance happening in your life in terms of as, as well as within your business flow things just start to happen and energetically things start coming into your world that are in line with because you've got the clarity of where you want to go and what you want to do and what message you want to send 
Absolutely. I was reading somewhere where they say that, you know, when you're driving, the windscreen um, of where you're going is actually bigger than the rear view mirror. A lot of us are driving, <laughs> you know, looking in that small rear view mirror without actually seeing the vision of where it is that we are going. So obviously, Melissa, a lot of people, like I said, who are watching this are eager to learn and eager to connect um, and mm -hmm. eager to really find out how they can uh, bring out, you know, the vitality um, in their lifestyle, like what you teach. What's the best way that people can get a hold of you there, Melissa? Well, at the moment, I'm in the process of building my website, so that's still um, under construction. But most people can reach out to me um, via Facebook. Um, I'm the only Melissa Kremaskoli on there, as far as I know. Um, so you can reach out to me via Facebook, either my personal page or my business page. And at the moment, my business page is operating under my, my baby that I created well back over 12 months ago called Vibrant Life um, Health and Life Coaching Australia. Absolutely. Well, from what you do, um, you can't operate at you know, higher levels if you're not doing well. And as your biggest belief is that the three things, mind, body and soul are connected and they need to work, um, you know, in harmony so that people have um, freedom and flow in their lives. Now, if somebody would knock up or come to your Facebook page right now and connect with you, what's sort of your go-to advice that, you know, people can get from you um, when they show up? Well, basically, I would, you know, firstly let them know that what they're experiencing is okay to be experiencing and not to not to judge themselves for experiencing it because we all have that part of our mind that is often not in alignment with who we want to be and again it comes from our childhood most of it um, our upbringing so there's absolutely no reason to beat yourself up about it so really letting people know you know that it's okay just know that if you want to grow and you want to change the way that you're feeling and where you're at you can but just not to beat yourself up about where you're at now because everyone is on a journey and it's different everyone is going in, in, in different journeys some people are along the journey their journey a little bit further on in their journey than where you are but that that's their journey you know it's all about you, bring it back to you and know that you can have whatever it is that you want in your life, you can. You can live that vibrant life. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Oh, thank you so much, Melissa, for your time, expertise and knowledge that you dropped on the show today. And I'm positive that if you're watching this show right now, you now have an inclination or you know that it is possible to leave a vibrant life. Now, Melissa, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Bye. Bye.